Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Good morning. My name is Lucio Chaki. I am with West Hartford Continuing Education, uh, which is part of the school system here in West Hartford. And I am a trip coordinator and a trip escort for the adult ed program. I have been working for the program for 20 years, 20 fabulous years. And this year we just ended uh, our last trip uh, to the Radio City Holiday Show. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the 2017 season. We are working our catalog right now. Uh, by the time you see this uh, film in January, we will already have put our catalog uh, to the printer and it will be on their way to your homes, your schools, uh, your businesses, your offices. So you'll be able to take a look at all of our offerings. Uh, I call what I do a tour by design. And uh, the show is actually called Tours by Lucy, which is something special to the community television uh, program. And I really am very excited about the season. I'm excited about working with Continuing Ed uh, with uh, further interesting trips, new trips uh, for you, for the community. Um, the West Hartford has been very responsive. Uh, West Hartford has a great educational system and they um, really are very, very good at signing up for free things, to, fun things to do in your free time, which is what we offer. I look at it as it's educational travel that enriches the community. It enriches your life. Um, I love to travel. I love to see new places. I love to revisit old places and renew my commitment to bringing you to these wonderful sites. Um, we have uh, trips coming up this year, which I will go over with you. And uh, I wanted to give you their phone number for registration, which is 860-561-6900 and you can go online at whlifelearn.org, click on Continuing Education, and you can look through the uh, trips that the Continuing Ed offers. Um, I specifically um, specialize in this area here in New York, Boston, Newport, New York State. Um, this has been my specialty for 20 years in the past few years, and we really, um, get input from you as to where you'd like to go and really it helps us with our planning our trips for the future. So 2017 will be um, a year that I'm going to enrich the community. I'm going to show you things that you really have fun doing. We do educational travel on a really passionate basis. And the first trip that I wanted to mention to you today is La Traviata, which is at the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. It is on April 18th, and we now have a really uh, exciting uh, program that really loves the arts and really loves to bring folks to shows. And we've taken folks this past season to Cirque du Soleil on Broadway. We do the Radio City Holiday Show every single year. We just did our 14th trip this past December, and we will do another one next year. And we really um, love the passion of operas, you know, fans in this area. They are very uh, knowledgeable. They love to share their knowledge with others about the opera. And the Met in New York is the prime opera venue in the world. And the first one I attended was a couple of years ago with Turandot, which fascinated me and I loved it. And I love the atmosphere. I love the location. I love the folks who come. So we are having uh, that first trip in April, uh, April 18th. It's a Saturday, it's a matinee performance. And we have um, great enthusiasm for that. Um, in May, uh, we are having a, what I call a foodie trip. 
Um, I've been doing this trip for continuing ed for a lot of years and have some enthusiastic folks who love to go to New York. It combines my love of New York food and shopping. And what I do usually is I check places out before I bring people so that I can be knowledgeable and share that with you when we do the trip. And what we do is we go to this wonderful store on the Upper West Side called Zabar's, which is a prime grocery store, has gourmet specialties. Uh, it's been around for several generations, still run by the family, which is like an ideal place to shop. The quality is there. Uh, the prices are phenomenal. Um, they really have a, a wonderful array of smoked fish. They have in-house baked bread, in-house roasted coffee. Uh, they have a wonderful mezzanine with housewares. Um, they really just do an amazing job of feeding the, uh, feeding the neighborhood and the city. And we go to Little Italy in Chinatown, which is uh, really, a, there's one great street on Little Italy called Grand Street, which is still the old Italian, uh, the old Italian grocery stores uh, are still, you know, vibrant. And there's a wonderful cafe called Ferrara's, which is the oldest espresso bar in America, which we have nice cappuccino or espresso. Really enjoy the neighborhood. Uh, Chinatown is bustling, uh, full of Asian goods on Canal Street, and we allow you time to shop. I give you some ideas about where you would like to pick up some great things. There's also a great Spanish store in the area, and uh, we have a, a fabulous time. We end up on that trip at a little spice shop called Kalustans, uh, which is on Lexington Avenue in an area called Curry Hill, and. I first heard of this store from the Fabulous Food Network and started to shop there and decided to add this to the trip because they have spices from all over the world. And I like to say they have spices you've never heard of from countries you've almost never heard of. Um, everything for baking and cooking is included in this store. And if they don't have it, they can order it for you. So we have an enthusiastic group who comes and the prices are quite good which is always a great ingredient of my trips is the prices are quite good. We do one trip in May and then in the fall on November 4th, we will do what I call the further foodie trip. Um, it is it starts at the Union Square Green Market, which is the largest and best green market in New York City. And you can pick up your Thanksgiving vegetables there. Uh, they have vendors and farmers from six states who come several times a week. Uh, some of the top chefs in the city shop there. And it is an amazing, uh, amazing variety of breads, cheeses, produce, fish, honey, New York wines, uh, really a little of everything. The, the produce is wonderful, wonderful garlic, uh, wonderful cooking flowers, uh, wonderful baked goods. Um, wonderful specialty, natural, organic type products that you would really, really enjoy. Uh, we also go to Little Lily in Chinatown, and on this trip, we end up at Zabar's. So it's a little bit of a reverse on Zabar's. So uh, if you are into cooking, if you have a have a really great uh, palate, um, if you really enjoy uh, the things that uh, New York has to offer, this is a really terrific trip. And I have enthusiastic folks who come from all over for this trip, and you are really welcome to come. And on June 4th, uh, we will visit on a yearly basis the Metropolitan Museum in New York. And this year we're going on June 4th. And what you do is you experience art from all over the world, back 5,000 plus years. The ancient Egyptian galleries are fabulous. Uh, there are 60,000 objects just in that gallery. Uh, they have the fabulous Temple of Dendur, which is at the end of the hallway on the first floor of the mat, a place that I visit on a regular basis. It is a gift to the United States from the Egyptian government and during the Kennedy administration to thank them for their help in preserving Egyptian antiquities. So it's a great place to spend time. There's also the Greco-Roman galleries on the first floor, which were renovated a couple of years ago. The first floor has been updated, upgraded, and they're always, there's always a vibrant exhibit, uh, either New York-centric uh, or, or fabulous urban-style exhibit at the Met. And also they have wonderful European galleries. They have the largest group of Monet's outside of Paris. Uh, they have a wonderful contemporary um, section with uh, photography. 
Uh, they have uh, for arts uh, from Oceania and Asia. The Asian galleries are fabulous. Um, and the Astor Court is a wonderful, peaceful, serene place to spend some time in the afternoon um, amid the hustle and bustle of the Met. Uh, and you are also, also at the same time, when you go to the Met on all of our trips, uh, you may visit the other museums that are nearby. The Met is the granddaddy on Fifth Avenue, and there are also other museums nearby which you may visit during that, during that trip. And also, when we go into the city, you are more than welcome to do your own thing and come back with us. That's the other thing that we do offer is if you're looking to... Um, do a little shopping, visit another museum, visit a site. You can take our bus and not do the museum trip and, you know, come back with us. So you're welcome to do that. Also, I wanted to mention in this museum mile, you have the Museum of the City of New York, which has a fabulous history of the city. You have the Jewish Museum, which is an old Felix Warburg mansion off of Fifth Avenue. You have the Cooper Hewitt Design Museum. It's a National Design Museum. It's a Smithsonian Museum. Also the Guggenheim, which is the Modern Art Museum on Fifth Avenue. It is a fabulous, uh, up-to-date, uh, vibrant uh, museum. Then you have the Met. And also you have the Frick Collection, which is on East 70th Street. Uh, Frick was a second in command to Andrew Carnegie. And he had no formal education. However, uh, he traveled the world, he developed his taste, and he opened his museum um, on the Upper East Side. It's very, very popular, and it is advised to visit that when you're in the area. And then you have Central Park, which on Saturdays has wonderful tours of um, the area. Uh, you can take a tour of the Central Park Conservancy, uh, which will take you all over the Mid Park which is very popular is Bethesda Fountain, Bethesda Terrace. There's a wonderful lookout on uh, Bethesda Terrace uh, of the, uh, the beautiful Mid, Mid Park. And also the um, Belvedere Castle is a meteor meteorological station uh, right in Central Park. And you can visit that. It is beautiful. Also in Central Park, there is a beautiful conservatory garden at 105th and 5th Avenue. And you have... Um, English, French, and Italian formal gardens. And it's a very peaceful and serene place to spend time um, amid the hustle and bustle in New York City. So there are a lot of things that you can do in that area. Uh, you have also some shopping nearby, some great restaurants nearby. So you can spend part of an art day uh, there at the Met. And also last year there was an addition uh, added, the Met Brower. Um, on Madison Avenue, which is a extension of their modern contemporary wing. So you can visit the Granddaddy on Fifth Avenue and also head over to the Met Brower on Madison Avenue and visit that. So that will take care of your museum. And it's an extended day, so we give you a lot of time to spend at the Met. There are tours that you can take, which will take you all over the museum. We include an audio guide in the tour and you can take specialized tours throughout the day. They have a full schedule in many languages also, uh, besides English. So you can enjoy uh, that th museum thoroughly. It's a great day in the city. Um, on June 18th, we are visiting Boston for the tall ships, which have not been uh, visit, visited Boston since 2000. So it's a big event and actually, um, we are going to be scheduling a viewing of the Parade of Sail as they come into Boston Harbor, which is beautiful. So we will be doing that on June 18th. It is a Saturday. And the Boston waterfront has been so built up and beautiful over the years. Um, I used to live in Boston um, and, and really enjoyed uh, that part of the city immensely. The Faneuil Hall area, the North End area, the downtown area is just absolutely terrific. So I think you'll enjoy that if you're interested. You can tour the ships. You can visit uh, the, the folks who ban the ships on a regular basis throughout the day. Uh, it'll be just a fun time to bring the tall ships back to Boston. And our newest trip that we just added yesterday, um, by the time this airs, you will have gotten your catalog, so you'll be able to register. We are a baseball program. We have booked trips to both Yankee Stadium, Fenway Park, and also City Field. 
uh, throughout the last few years. And this year we have booked the Red Sox and the Yankees, which is a classic rivalry um, in this area. And we have booked uh, great seats for um, August 11th and you'll be able to enjoy the rivalry again, which will be renewed. Uh, the Red Sox have just signed an ace, Chris Sal, so it should be a really uh, barnstorming year. And the, the season is just uh, exciting to anticipate. Uh, spring training is not that far away, and it is just time to plan uh, for the seats uh, for your trip. So we're, we welcome you. We are enthusiastic baseball uh, program, so you can do that with us. In um, October, we'll be visiting Providence for the um, perhaps sixth time in about six years, which we really enjoy the city. We'll be visiting the Johnson & Wales Culinary Museum. We toured it several years ago, and it was an absolutely fabulous trip. Uh, we have Julia Child's Kitchen. We have Emeril Lagasse donating uh, some of his memorabilia. We have the history of cooking in general. There are... Uh, gadgets and machines there from the 40s, 50s, 60s. So it's a real trip back in time. If you've had those in your home previously, they have a wonderful little tour, a, a culinary tour of, uh, let's see, the Providence was uh, the home of the first diner in America. So I believe they have a replica of a diner there that you, you can look at the history of. We also visit the wonderful area called Atwell's Avenue, which is the Little Italy of Providence, and we give you time to do a little uh, food shopping and lunch. Uh, there's some wonderful old school Italian bakeries and shops there, which are well worth visiting. There's a wonderful pastry shop there where you can get a great slice of cake for dessert. Wonderful restaurants, real old school uh, for every pocketbook. It's just a great little part of Providence. and. We will do a walking tour of downtown Providence um, included. Uh, the downtown area has been uh, revised, rebuilt, and uh, the waterfront is gorgeous. We have in previous years uh, had the water fire uh, trip there to visit uh, the wonderful music that they play uh, along the river. If the water fire happens uh, that day that we are going, we're definitely going to schedule to get that in at the end of the day. But what happens is they play beautiful music um, from all parts of the world, all eras, and the gondoliers glide along the river and really uh, add a, a real peaceful end of the day. And uh, it's a great, great, great trip. And we have also in October on the 22nd, we'll be visiting the Lower East Side Tenement Museum in New York City. And we have scheduled this um, on a fairly regular basis in the past. Uh, the Tenement Museum is the only tenement museum in America. It was a crumbling. It had funds restored to keep it going. Um, it is a fabulous educational center for the Lower East Side. It's changed a lot over the years. The Lower East Side used to be uh, the first garment district of uh, New York and still has a lot of uh, old-fashioned, old-school, family-owned stores there. Um, that uh, still, you know, still are in you know great business with the neighborhood. It has changed over the years, but some of these businesses have stayed, which is fabulous. We will visit um, some of the sites on a walking tour of the Lower East Side. Uh, the Lower East Side Tenement Museum will tour the tenement, and then we'll take a walk, and they will tell us about the history of the era and how it evolved, um, and how it, vibrant it is today. And so. We will also be uh, near, um, and you'll have time uh, on that day to visit Katz's for their wonderful pastrami. And there are also other great restaurants that have been there old school uh, for uh, quite some time. You'll be able to enjoy that also. So um, that is it for walking tours for the year. And um, in November, this is brand new for us. Uh, we have uh, visited Hyde Park in uh, previous years, and this year we'll be visiting on November 10th the Vanderbilt Museum, uh, Vanderbilt Home in Museum in Hyde Park. And Vanderbilt, Frederick Vanderbilt was a Vanderbilt who did not inherit uh, money, but he was a very competitive 
Um, he is really a self-made man, which is, which is amazing. I mean, the glittering mansion that he built in Hyde Park testified to his, uh, his wealth and his great business acumen. So we'll be touring the house. And also we'll be visiting at that time the Culinary Institute of America. Uh, that is a premier cooking school in America, and it has an amazing campus right in Hyde Park. And this year we'll be offering the French restaurant, Bocuse, for our lunch. Uh, we have been to the American Bounty previously and the Caterina de' Medici. And this is a, a new uh, venue for, uh, for this particular trip, so we'll be making reservations for that. So we can uh, really enjoy uh, the year. Uh, we will also be in December. On December 5th, we have booked the Radio City Music for the 15th year in a row, and we'll be offering wonderful orchestra seats, and those that will be in this catalog coming up, so you can make some really great advanced planning. And also the first Saturday of September, first Saturday of December, uh, we'll be visiting New York City for a day on your own. This is what we do every single year to allow you to do some browsing, shopping, visit uh, Broadway, uh, visit a friend, uh, and uh, we'll be offering that. And also in the spring, we'll be offering a day on your own in Boston. So if you're interested in the museums in Boston, if you're interested in uh, visiting uh, any of the universities across the river in Cambridge, uh, Cambridge has a wonderful uh, set of museums right in Harvard Square that you may visit. So uh, please uh, call the Continuing Ed program to register, 860-561-6900. You may also contact me directly at toursbydesign at gmail.com. That is my email, and you're welcome to um, ask me any questions about the trips, the scheduling, things that are nearby. And we also, being the vibrant program that we are, when we come up with things that are new, we will also add them to the catalog, such as we are working on details right now about this wonderful pop-up in New York called the Ice Cream Museum. Uh, they offered it last year for about a week, and uh, they have a uh, wonderful little history of ice cream, samples, um, they also have a pool of jimmies that you can swim in, which imagine that. Uh, that sound, sounds like either weird or fun, depending on your disposition. Uh, but uh, we'll be offering that in the summertime. And also look out uh, in this, this particular catalog for um, a trip to Fenway Park. We are presently uh, in contact with them about adding that to our program. So that is something you can look for in the catalog. And again, the Continuing Get program, you can go online, create an account, you can pay in person, pay with cash, pay by check, pay online, pay by credit card. We try very, very hard to make it very easy for you to register and take you on trips. And the, the tours are pretty much well subscribed throughout the year, and my goal is every trip be a full bus. So if you see a trip that you are particularly interested in, and they're all fabulous, is to register as far in advance as possible and do your planning and uh, make sure that the bus runs and the continuing ed program will um, accommodate yeah, last minute folks if there is room. But really, uh, it's a good idea for a planning basis to you know, call in advance and say, I want to do this in December and really uh, book your trip um, because we will add more on a regular basis. We have several catalogs that come out and the first one comes out by the end of December. We also have a, a spring catalog and we also have a fall catalog that comes out at the end of August and things are constantly being added. So it is a very good idea to check online on a regular basis because things are added on a regular basis. So our program um, will, will stay, uh, keep you informed. If you would like to be put on my mailing list, please email me and um, I will be happy to put you on my uh, trip notice list for trips that are upcoming. I stay in constant contact with folks. If you have a group that is interested in doing a trip um, for, to, to a particular place, I'm also available to do that for you also. Uh, that is something that I can do for the school system. That is something I can do personally. If you have a group that uh, would like to go somewhere, I would be happy to work with you. Uh, we presently do not do overnights, uh, but we have done them. I have escorted overnights 
previously and would be very happy to talk to you about that. So I'm available for all sorts of wonderful, fun educational trips. And if I can um, answer your question accurately, um, I always do or refer you to those who can. So you can certainly get in touch with me through the program. They will give you my cell number and we can talk further. So I thank you very much for listening and we look forward to trips. And again, um, you can also, um, you know, get in touch with me and the program. So thank you so much again for listening and have a wonderful year. Hope to see you on the trips. Stay healthy, happy, and travel.